Got to do that. You gotta do that, eh? Yeah, you, know, you gotta share it. Make sure people know. Yeah. We are. The, we gotta make sure people know that we are live. We're live. We are live. Ah! Oh my god. Ah! We are live. We are ready. We are. We are here. Okay. We are. We are going places. I can go live over here, son. Yeah, you can go live. Can I'll go share live. to Midnight Dreamscapes. I can go live. Yeah, you can, can go, go, you go live. live. You how do these kids, how do they work these things? What? We're going to go live. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to press record. I don't know what I did. I'm I recording. Think we're on. We are now recording right. this as well for posterior value. We are live. We are doing, okay. we're doing the right stuff. We're doing it right this time. What the hell are you talking about? I'm, I don't know. <laughs> We're doing the right stuff. Um, welcome to our watching of Blade, which is, of course, uh, setting up. And Clint is setting up, so really that's what you're watching right now. So, uh, you know, just take a good look at the shorts there and uh, ask. They, they can't see me. <laughs> He's like, they can't see you. Oh, they can you. fucking see you. They can't you. see you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, they can't. Not that anybody is watching yet, but when they do, then we'll see that. Just saying. You, just, you don't know, you just you know, flipped off. Uh, I flipped off our viewers. But I love you, each and every one of you. I... Sorry. I'm sorry. Absolutely. We're, we're, we're trying this out. This is going to be... Uh, Such a Wesley Snipes edition. It is. This is what success means. A wet flicky. Look at me. Look what you're you doing to me. Ah. Look what you're doing to me, man. Look I'm what you're sorry. doing. You're, you're, you're doing I'm this. Sorry. You're, you're, aggr you're aggravating my sciatica. <laughs> I'm sorry about your lumbago, Uncle. I'm sorry about your lumbago. But just, just call me Chris Christopherson. No, no, you better. Chris call, Christopherson. Call me oh, yes. Whistler. That's what I am. Like how, you you are the blade, I'll be the whistler, because I am broken. Like, Completely. Why does my voice can be like this for my character? Because <laughs> I'm old and crotchety. Yeah. <laughs> it's because you... And I'm a vampire. But, you're a vampire. But I had a horrific vocal cord injury when I was nine. Yes. Well, now, yes. it's not my fault. So now you talk very it's intimidating. To, to all of you no, viewers no. out there, if all of you are viewing our... Here's what we're going to do. We're gonna put that down right there. That is our popcorn. We're gonna... So, popcorn etiquette. I think for future reference, we're going to maybe start actually... Uh... Are you on like a formal intro? Well, no, not a formal intro either. I just... Uh... Suit and tie? Hmm? Yeah, well, yeah. 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 That's really a suit and tie. Well, I'm just really? Watch out for our, our fans over there on the question board the, the chat house there we're testing oh. out our new uh webcam yes we got ourselves live streaming over there on the camera b over there so but as i was saying i think for future reference we definitely need to start planning uh events on facebook yeah we didn't let uh, people know how or what we're going to plan to do for season two we didn't set this up because we're trying this out you know we're going to see uh how this goes watch Blade tonight, folks. That is tonight's watch. And then we'll discuss immediately afterward. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Yeah, well, so, uh, why are we live streaming? We're live streaming because, you know, we want to return Gotham to you, <laughs> the people. Sorry. Am I catching you like totally off guard? <laughs> no, okay. no, no, that's yeah, the whole point though. This no, is is the whole, yeah, yeah, this is live. I wanted, wanted to see it here. It's You're on the ball here. It's 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 like, what about that? Here's, here's the thing. The, the whole platform of what we're going to do now is I think from the, from here on out, we're going to try to do this live for season two. Yeah. Um, we're going to watch the Marvel movies. And through this lineup of Marvel movies, Marvel. we are going to watch the movie 
at the same time we're going to be talking about the movie. Yeah. So we're going to do this live. So if you want to uh, tune in or chime yeah. in or tune along, uh, we're going to press play on Blade. We're going to let you know when we press, press play. Exactly. And you can watch along with us. Yep. Uh, and chime in in the in the comments if you want and uh, ask questions maybe argue with us say we're not uh we're not right we're not right <laughs> we are hell spawn we are so mistaken there is no saving our souls from the eternal damnation that clearly awaits us i think you know that's the kind of critique you got to be open to as a writer is it it is you have to be ready to have your flesh literally ripped off your body at any possible minute tell me frankly Call me Frank. <laughs> and call me Julia. Wait. I'm not implying it. I'm, I'm just ready. I'm ready to get nailed. <laughs> I am ready to lure a British man to his comeuppance and make him a better bite. Anyway, Blade. Is it too late? 1999. Was it literally 99? Yeah. 1999. 1998. Ah, two years. Ooh, two years. Away from 2000. Yes. Um, but this was like, a lot, I think my generation especially remembers Wesley Snipes to Blake, particularly, like as his iconic role, because, you know, we didn't really get to see. I, I saw Demolition Man and I saw, you know, stuff before that. I was but, thinking about that earlier, too. Um, I was wondering the same thing. Is like, is Blade the Wesley Snipes? Character. character is that is that what Wesley Snipes is known for is now is just completely played or is it or is well, it roles like in, in Demolition Man or uh, there's I saw him in the fan which was he was with the, with Robert De Niro which was really good. right yeah there was, there was a couple of really good movies there in the 80s yeah, yeah he he New was, Jack City it had a nice title role there he, he has done drama yeah. he has oh, range yeah, I mean Wesley Snipes is a really 100%. he's a he's a very decent actor but Blade Blade is definitely a role that it's gonna hard to uh, to fill those shoes. No, and that's just it. Um, but I, I really think that Marshall Ali will will do it. He's gonna nail it. He's gonna nail it. And uh, whatever they have planned for him in the MCU, I think it's gonna be super important, especially considering they're introducing him to the main MCU. You know, this isn't a television series we're talking about. This is a, a full feature length film. Yeah, which means there's going to be a supernatural edge to the MCU. No, um, oh, that's right. And that that's does, right. You know, well, it's, it's going to be introduced with Doctor Strange, so who knows? He might even get a cameo inside there when you know, the multiverse more. madness. I feel like Morbius will have a little bit to do a with tie it too. In. Just a little bit because Vulture's in it, because they mentioned the snap apparently and other things like that. So it'll be interesting to see. But Moving on from the MCU, or moving backwards, actually, should I say, back back to the back to the future, back to the past. We are returning to the roots of that, you know, and returning to the roots of comic book films, um, because it was right after this that X Men came out, pretty much, you know, in two thousand. And um, that's right. You know, kind of solidified the genre as. How? Are we... Okay, sorry. Go ahead. I was just gonna say, because the thing is. Superman and Batman proved that those icons could work on their own mm -hmm. as a franchise. But I think what the success of Blade and then subsequently X-Men and then Spider-Man... I, 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 I completely disagree with you on that one. Because I, I think it was, it was definitely the success of X-Men. Blade was swept under the rug completely. Wow. It did not find its its stride until... until yeah, right. No, until it was on time. That's true. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, however, it doesn't. It, it Blade was first, yeah. and it and sets a precedent that because uh, we'll see when we start watching the film yeah. that this film is a very solid film throughout. It's that's, a very memorable film throughout. But I don't know. Uh, that's really all. When I, I, when I call the comic book craze, it was. I'm always going to start with X Men because it's just you know what that was. Well, that was a huge movie. And it was I'm not a arguing big that. thing. Because especially in terms of cast, in terms of box office, that is what, you know, but I, I would argue that Blade definitely set in place certain, um, not necessarily what I want to say, it set the tropes in place, but it really, it opened up the ability for the comic book movie, I think, to um, re-enter 
the modern kind of uh, the postmodern, I guess, thought <laughs> and um, or mind, and okay. it just kind of opened up that avenue. I think X Men took it to the next level. Like I said, with the cast, with the handling of the material, Blade is very faithful, but. It's also in that sense too. It'd be like doing a faithful Luke Cage movie. Right? Yeah, it doesn't. That's true. It can still have a lot to say, but it might also not necessarily have as much to say as X Men does with this huge allegory for racism and, and you know human rights and you know what it means to be human. Um, well, play has on thing. top of the comic book stuff, you know, yeah. and on top of because obviously something that again. I, my, I, it's more like Wolverine and the Fox Men, right? Because Wolverine, <laughs> Wolverine is the icon of the franchise, and he's the one who kind yeah, of yeah, carries right. the through line. You're right. Yeah. Wolverine and the Fox Men. I just, every time you say that, <laughs> it's just it's That's so what funny. They call it online, the, the Fox Men. Because it's it like, is. You know, well, it's true. He's the only one that can carry that franchise. Because <laughs> without him, those movies really flop. <laughs> well, you know, but, the first two, some parts of the third one. Well, we'll get there. Yeah, we'll get we're, there we're to the X Men. I, I, you know what? I, I'm going to ask you something okay. before we Drop start this movie. Drop it on. Before we, we press play here, mm-hmm. how are you liking the Lemon Riot, the new strain from the Toe Lemon Riot. It is fantastic. Yeah. Actually, uh, nice. I really enjoyed it. It had a nice yeah. really smooth flavor. Yeah, it was nice and, and smooth. Uh, and... the, yeah, it smells fantastic. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. You know, okay. yeah. Hey. Mm. Down here in Thunder Bay Aye. at the Toke House on James Street, I would definitely say the Lemon Riot is is a good one because the one I'll definitely definitely buy again. I recommend. I'm gonna just like I recommend the Toke House always. I well, just picked up a couple things from there. So my my dirty bong. I'm gonna I'm gonna smoke a bowl. I think this. Well, dirty bowl. <laughs> I, I cleaned the like, bowl. Hey, I cleaned the bowl, hey. but then I started smoking out of it, so it's not that clean. Yeah. But you know it works. It's good. Yeah, we're, we're gonna. Didn't I give you what about your lemon? Yeah, I smoked it all. One here. Oh, Jesus Christ! You know I, I keep telling you this. Be prepared here. We're, we're trying to do a segment. Oh gonna God. keep things tight. Oh, don't fire me, please, sir. This is my first. <sighs> oh my God! <laughs> I just started here. I gotta feed my cats. I got twelve of them. <laughs> That's why I took this job and like three others, man. You know what? <laughs> Be fucking professional, guys. Okay. You're Rick Dalton, damn it. Damn it. You gotta watch it. I don't know. I gotta watch it, yeah. It's actually really good. And I misunderstood what it was gonna be about. So I was expecting historical, historical accuracy. Historical accuracy? No, I knew that going in. Like, I haven't seen it, but I knew that old. Just in terms of the ending, I thought that a uh, certain characters were going to die that didn't. Well, I was, when you told me that, it was just like, interesting. I would have figured they would have went that far, but. The Hollywood fairy tale. Let's just leave it well, at that. Well, this man is preparing his bowl for us to smoke. We're going, I'm going to press play right here, right now at this mark on, on High on Hollywood. We're going to press play on the lead. So if uh, you people are watching oh. out there, <laughs> turn it on and watch it with us. Hashtag Blade. Hashtag whatever. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not watching. I'm not the. Hashtag Wesley Snipes. <laughs> you, know, you never know. We might see that he's trending, and he might. Yeah, eventually I'll look at my phone. And then he'll call me, and he'll be like. The jazz stop broadcasting my movie. Talk about <laughs> yeah. We can't. We, what gives you the right to make an opinion on me? Like, look, look, at the red, look at the red credits. No other movies ever done that. I'm just <laughs> yes. But you know what? That really sets the mood, though. And the way it darkens. Yes. This, this is a vampire movie. It, I'm intrigued by the fact that it opens with a flashback. Like his or it, like it kind of the way the origin is fragmented. Yes. I like these visual shots. I mean, 
this was yeah. this was a really really kind of it's like you just you're thrown into the movie you don't know what's going on it's like okay, baby blood everywhere chaos a lot conveying here and then that little shot for those who are familiar with the character are you ready to i got distracted by the movie okay this, this is why i was holding off to, you know Unprofessional. Wesley Snipes! Wesley Snipes. Stephen Dwarf. Stephen Dwarf. Stephen Dwarf. Stephen Dwarf. <laughs> Blaine's in this movie. That's crazy. No way! That's awesome. <laughs> Pretty cool. Holy shit. Wow, how did they get the real Blaine? Chris Christopher. He plays the music of <laughs> He's acting. Yeah. He's acting. Yeah. He's acting like a musician. Donald Logue, who I would maintain is very underrated. Now. Oh, got now in this Shut down a little bit. The, the... Why did Tracy Lawrence get a, a title? Though? So where are we going? Because she got this whole set. Like, this is pretty... Yeah, I like this yeah. is a pretty good extended cameo. I would say. Extended cameo. Yeah, like, that's what I call it. She's like, this is the entire scene for her. That's pretty, pretty good. As an actress, I would be like, okay, yeah. This is a step in the right direction. Hey. All right. All right. On that note, welcome to High on Holly. the perfect shot of the 90s the late 90s yeah I always underground do. rave always. <laughs> 90s are a rave it's my all four years <laughs> all four years not to make you feel uh, I was a kid in the 90s I barely remember it well, I remember more of the later 90s than the, than the early 90s. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get in there, buddy. Yeah, it's just like, you know, you put women around, and every time he gets up in someone's face, he gets pushed around. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> It's total ecstasy, and then someone just started, you know, the ogre spreading that shit around. Take this shit. And the party don't stop until the blood drops. <laughs> also, um, I can't remember what I did. I don't think he did have a cameo in this. Goyer. Goyer. Is this the first one movie he wrote? Or? Deal was was a damn damn good movie. See, the party don't stop for the blood drop.
Yeah, I'd say I probably You're fucked, dude. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like, ah. See, this is a really cool effect. It's going to be really sticky. That's a sticky shoot. Everybody just <laughs> all against each other all the time. That's the 90s. I don't know how they work. What? What's, what's going on? <laughs> oh, man. It's played. <laughs> Holy. Who's, what's going on? Oh, no. I love this one. Like, oh my god. This is a great one. Like, that's a cool that one. I love that Like, this guy just walks in. And I love it. He's got this smile what? on his face, eh? But that's such it's a blade just, thing. That's a blade thing. He's just like, oh, these suck at it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're all gonna die. I can hear the monologue in his head. <laughs> I've been I've been reading Blade Runner, and yes, uh, yes, we went back to the. I went I went to the source material. Uh, we had this conversation before, and the reason why we're doing this live now is because we lost that footage because but it was damaged in a it was, it was damaged fire in a uh, shipping accident. Yeah. And you know how whales are. Anyway, the point <laughs> being, I know a couple of guys in places, and you know, we're gonna figure it out. Long story short, <laughs> I had to change my mind on Blade because I was thinking, well, you know, I didn't like the smarmy kind of dark look with the attitude that was super great. And that is very Blade. But it is. Not just like This is definitely the definitive Blade. Is he gonna build those sheets? I think he will. They'll give them some really cool stuff to do. Like, that, that's what's most important. And I think that's what I love about the MCU. It's not necessarily that I think the characters are like 100% dead on. Um, that's true! Oh, comic storylines all the time. But no. I think the actual essence of the characters Shut are. And you can always put them in interesting situations. Like, the adventures are still fun. It's just fun to see them in that's why they should never call it. They shouldn't call it the 616. This is the, 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 the MCU. It shouldn't never be called the 616. Well, it's technically not. I mean, the 616 is just a comic. Exactly. That's all. Yeah. Even these effects hold up. That's, and that was one of the biggest things. Like, like, it's crazy. Because there's still, there is a lot of computer-related effects. Uh -huh. They just look really well done. The thing is, they're put in and they're used sparingly. They're only yeah. used to shatter the skull, like the, the destiny. For anyone tuning in now, we're watching Blade in 1998, Wesley Snipes, and uh, we're just revisiting it. You know, this is the first time I've rewatched it. Oh, yes! yes. So, oh, that's so good. Stapled them. Win. Donald Logan. He is a wicked character actor. I was he looking is. at his film of Oh, I do, and that's the thing. You recognize him so many times, Everything. Right? Everything. He's been in... And he just finished his run on Gotham, you know. Uh, he was a Harvey Bullock. He did a great job. Really? Even though I'm not a big Gotham guy. He was Harvey Bullock. Yeah, I thought it was pretty solid. Oh, my God. He was just went on fire, folks, okay? Just like that, um, That's what happened. No bites. Blade is... And on the case. All now. of a sudden, the cops. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and a fire. Oh, okay. oh. two firemen. Well, because, you know, there's got to be a fire, right? They knew Blade from Seattle. They were prepared <laughs> for Blade to be there 100%. See, there he is. Yeah. Popped away. Oh, yeah, yeah, in the corner there. I saw that. Mm -hmm. oh, it does track. Earlier, I remember now, even though, yeah, you, like, until you pointed that out, I didn't notice that before. Yep. This shot. Like the cinematography in this film is just off the charts. <laughs> like seriously. Never charge me down here for you. 
Those all be shots. These poor bastards have no idea what's in the store for them. Uh, just because you set him on fire, don't make him dead. Poor Donald yeah. Rose looking as crispy as Rachel <laughs> Come back, fish them off. Dr. Karen Jensen. Dermatologist. <laughs> Hematologist. Hematologist. That's, that's, that's to do with blood, right? Yes. That's to use the study of blood. Uh, oh, we need to have that uh, scientific stream in there. Is there a. Gold Bug Joyed and Donald. Jo Hello, Donald. We're Hi, watching Donald. Blade. If you're watching Blade right now. Yes. If you. We are right at uh, Karen Jensen's uh, introduction here. Yeah. We're just talking about Blade. Watching Wesley Snipes kick some ass here. Yeah, well, right now we're watching Karen. This weird kind of like, oh, yeah. Uh, I'm single, independent woman. Yeah. Don't want to marry no doctor. It's a, it's a rejection, really, and it's pretty hard to watch. Yeah. He's like, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm just trying to be a nice guy. I don't want to get in your pants, not at all. Okay, he's going to be a vampire later. <laughs> yeah. And he still tries to get in her pants, even when he's a vampire. Yeah. Like, come on, like, what the fuck, dude? Like a messed Take up vampire. Take a hint. Zombie vampire. Zombie vampire. Zombie vampire. They have zombie vampires in the water, kids. I'm telling you. Cut through this year, don't mind me. <clears throat> and I love that. This is you don't even see it's a it's a body suit. Okay? No, not at all. Like you know, he's cutting into it. It's, it's, you know, you can tell he's just taking off the, the, the little. Well, he's not. Yeah. He's not actually cutting into it. Yeah. Yeah, I can see him breathing now. <laughs> oh. I can't hold my breath any longer. Oh, God. <laughs> wow, man. See, that's how I imagine. Wake up and ah! yeah, just, just dig it in. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, you got it. Oh. Get that thing off of her. Oh, that is such a cool. Yeah, that was amazing. No glasses this time, man. Yeah. You accidentally punched his carriage. Get out of my way, you freak! Yeah, you freak. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, the arm. Let's go. What the fuck are you out of your damn mind? <laughs> He's like, I'm Blade. Did you just see like the big toasty guy that just ran past you? And like, you're shooting at me. <laughs> I love moments like that. For some reason, it reminds me of the moment in The Dark Knight Rises where the kid shoots Batman's. Oh yes. Gun, and yeah. he just looks at him like. <laughs> I want that Wesley Snipes haircut. But fresh, I, fresh is something I call it, yeah. And that tattoo on the back of his head, I'd have to carry around a samurai sword, though. This moment. I think you could pull it off. Yeah? Yeah, you'd be the weirdo walking around with a samurai sword, but yeah. Definitely yeah, pull it off. <laughs> but I'd have to wear it everywhere to complete the look. You know? Oh, yeah. Walking down the mean streets of Thunder Bay, it's like, I got a samurai sword. I'm Blade. I, guess, <laughs> I would get pulled oh, over so often. Jump. Alright, fly, bitch. <laughs> Woo. Woo. That's basically what this one is. He just, just chucks her. And then smiles and claps his blade back. See? It's all sport. You, you guys, you guys just don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's basically. Keep shooting me. Go ahead. You can shoot me all you want, but this is all about the head. They're like, holy shit, here's a good shot. And then this guy. 
like that's a little over my door. My door guy had sex with my wife. I'm so mad at yours. That's basically what's happening. And then there's these beautiful tracking shots through the city. That yeah, I think last time you you said these were amazing shots. Like, they are quite amazing. And also not unfamiliar to the superhero genre either. Being on film, the comic book film genre. And this too, this uh, you know, um, you know, the hero riding through the city with uh, the damsel in distress on the front seat, yeah. the passenger side. It's um, morning. It's dead of morning. The city's just waking up. I mean, he's did that. That's definitely our hero is is finally going to sleep. It's got a daredevil kind of feel to it. It's also Batman inspired. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah. And it has a flash where he pulls into it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, you're right. She wakes up here. So now I'm wondering how much of this film is also actually inspired by by, 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 by Burton's Batman. Yeah. yeah. Oh, probably. I mean, this is. I. How much comic book movies had to go on before this movie? That's true. I mean, you had Burton's Batman series. You had this wasn't going to be Superman, Superman right? Yeah. So, and then you had a couple like what low budget? Yeah, you had, well, there was Dolph Captain Lund, America, Lund, Punisher, yeah. and Captain America, and which went to theaters. That was in theaters. Yeah, but I don't remember. I don't know if Dolph Lundgren. I don't know if it was in theaters, but it did exist from the eighties. It exists. It does exist, people. She does. Whistler. 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 Chris Christopherson. I am going to sing down there. He sings a really good rendition of Me and Bobby McGee. Me and Bobby McGee. Yeah. What's the one? I don't know. Janis Joplin was her famous cover. Yes, I like Janis Joplin. I just love Janis Joplin. I just love Janis Joplin. I want her car. Yes. So bad. She was beautiful. Was beautiful. Is another hour. She was well. Probably. Probably somebody probably has it. It's a colorful thing. Collector's <laughs> action. Dr. Just was close. Dr. Karen and Jackie with Allie in the center. Welcome to hell. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna hurt. Yeah. It's like hell. Yeah. Hold on. Cross the river, boy. You lean on it. I mean, like, you suddenly wake up and you've been not even sure. before you woke up, you were attacked by a vampire first of all, then another vampire saves you and brings. I think you it's like the least of her worries right now. Like everything she's literally just, smoking from her neck. That's what I mean. Like everything's just like it's like you know what? Let's just get deal with this one problem first, then we'll deal with the vampires. All of that. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but yeah, this sucks. The council. I'm evil. How hard did the director tell that guy to just sit back and snivel? Yeah. He's like, "What do you mean?" Be pissed off. Yeah. And there's Udo Kier as the lame potato top. I think he's like, even though the actor can be intimidating, like he's great. I've seen him in other movies. Oh fuck yeah! Another character actor, like another just guy who's just been in everything. The way this character is portrayed and and, uh, situated is just way too weak to be convincing when you're superior to Deacon Frost. You know I mean? Deacon carries such a the gravitas. He's very charismatic. He's like, smart. You almost you care really, for him, like to a point where, as a character, almost really you almost to first, a point where it's just like, like, you know what? They are kind of weird, you know, stuffy and, and yeah, they kind of deserve it. The council definitely deserves what they what they got. They had the wake up call. Yeah, and I mean, this is this is what happens when you when you. Uh, Fuck around with you fascist attitude. If your blood was pure. Right. And and he's he's pure out. blood. Yeah, he's not pure blood. He's such a cool bad guy though. 
This whole movie is fucking cool. Like, that's the best way to describe this movie. I would have walked out of the theater and been like... Yeah, I mean, if I was totally like, like whoa. This, this movie is just so... Well, that's how I felt after, after I watched it. It's it's the first time, I was just like full of just... Just because of scenes like... Be ruling. Like... Like this. I mean, like the thing is, you see these these big council underground mafia type mafioso type characters. You're looking at old money versus new money, where this guy is completely Deacon De- De- Frost is just saying, "Let's we need to go out and start actually, you know, presenting ourselves, and we can actually be controlling the human." Where these guys are just like, "No, no, we'll run things underground." But you. That's why he's such a interesting character if you can kind of follow right well, nobody cares about old money man. old money's boring it's true it's, it's true stuffy. and then well i think the fantasy yeah the fantasy is to overthrow old money right. and uh for this hipster <laughs> hipster i don't know no, he's not a hipster he's more of an edgy uh, this is what the 90s thought would cost like goth, I know, mid, middle know. class goth. <laughs> I would even say uh, there's the matter of our own shoulders. It's like that. Yeah, it's, it's almost like that rebellious rock. Yeah. yeah. Grunge. It's grunge. It's not grunge. It's almost it's totally not grunge. Oh, no, it's not grunge. It's, yeah, right, it's right. like it's yuppie. Yuppie. I would, I would even go so far. We're going to throw around cliche terms. <laughs> well, I'm, just, I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm just trying to figure out what the word is in my head. But. Pure garlic. Essence of garlic. Stop twitch. Yeah. Maybe garlic. Yeah. So, what is the significance of this? In your opinion. Show the blade, which just says a blade for the wise on. Um, yeah, I'm taking a look. No, I'm not relies, sorry. Supports the community. Supports the community. Yeah. Okay. Supports his, uh, his family. Not even just, not even just, man, like, you just, he supports the family. Okay. Yeah. Um, and also. So what does that say about, like, you know, street superheroes versus. Or does this set him up more of as a because he's giving you know stolen watches? These are stolen from vampires. Um, as he later says in the movie, this is just under fund, this like operation is funded, it's funded yeah. by the March of Dimes. So this sets uh, sets him up as more of an anti-hero, right? Kind of a character. Well, and because he, you know, yeah, yeah, and because he kills his enemies too. I mean, you, you know, that always kind of raises the question. Oh, Morality. Good. Yeah, it's just crazy. But it, it shows that fine line of, like, what what is the good deed? What is the moral line of committing those good deeds and saving the community and being part of the community? Where, is, where right. do you draw those things? Right. And in films like Joker by Todd Phillips in 2019, what we see is, you know, the tale of someone who... Um, Arthur Fleck, you know, society crumbles around him, and he almost becomes an anti You know, when the violence erupts, but he's Joker. He's supposed to be just this wave, this hurricane of chaos. He's not a complete anti-hero, but for a minute. How about, how about this? How about this? Like, oh God. How about this? Don't break your picture, and let's talk about Blade and the significance of his sword. And his big phallic image, and she's touching it. And it's dangerous. Yeah. As he stabs and penetrates it. This, maybe this is like the this moment. This is a form of chastity. I was going to say this. Is this, it. this blade is unattainable. Yeah. This masculine hero. Well, it's literally the blade. And he is blade. And it's basically telling her no. That's how I basically, yeah, I just looked at that scene. It's like a very... Oh, oh it's ex- the you're, you're on the nose right there. <laughs> I love English. <laughs> yeah, being an great. English major in a degree, man. Because the director and the writer definitely probably did not mean it to... to no, like, the, that that's just, like, that... But that was so... That is so on the nose. It's like, this is the blade. 
say masculine manhood. This is what he uses you, to fight the bad You guys. cannot have them. <laughs> Don't touch. You can look. Don't touch. <laughs> He's married to the mission. And that's kind of what the whole movie establishes. Yeah. Constantly. Oh, oh, it totally reaffirms the fact that he's... Which, in a what? sense, is refreshing, but as we'll also later see, there mm -hmm. are moments where he exudes like male aggression in a way that is... Look at the person that's the only person that's allowed to touch him. That's true, though. Right. Whistler, the, the adoptive father figure, yeah. the... There's this, there's this homosociality that, that really burns through this. Like underline. It really does. Yeah. Where she is, cannot possess or touch him. She's very much. This uh, brotherhood, this bond between them. Well, and she ends up being put in more of an observer scientist. Group. Yes. So, you know, remains in well, you, you got to remember that the, the, they wrap this story arc at the end, which I actually kind of like, and I don't like the fact that Blade 2 undoes that. Yeah, which I haven't seen. You? Oh, yeah, well, I've never seen Blade 2. I know I've seen Blade Trinity, so. Nobody cares about Blade Trinity. Blade Trinity's disgusting. Part of the franchise. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Smokes right beside me. I got cancer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't care if y'all die, so let's go. We well, understand. Well, He's already dead. <laughs> He's half oh, vampire. Wow. You're half vampire. <laughs> I got cancer. He doesn't even get to die. Of cancer. Right. Those are those are hard to kill. Generally. You're not supposed to believe that. Well, you already met Mr. Crispy at the hospital. Mm -hmm. What do you think? What do you think? So what do you what use? Do you the stakes? I the think... That is a very thin plot. <laughs> <laughs> I think the whole plot is very thin, because what the fuck does Deacon Frost really... He spends half the movie laying on his bed waiting for the rooms to be thrown on his old Microsoft Word program or something. <laughs> Oh no, no, sorry, it's an Apple computer. Oh, yeah, that's right. I uh, fucking never worked notepad. <laughs> the glyphs. <so> big. <laughs> the glyphs. <laughs> Still heavy, <laughs> but you're so big. So where am I supposed to go? Because, like, the first arc of this movie is completely just setting up one specific thing. Their relationship. The relationship between them. and how it's going to work. Yes, and then it reconciles that for the rest of the movie. He's almost like a third Wait, wheel. A few others, which is just traditional Hollywood narrative. Hundred percent. The way that that's, it props up that relationship. I have to be careful. But I'm really. They all the police. Yeah, they don't ever kiss, right? No, no she, like she, she never touches them. Like no, nope. they 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 do touch on her. Well, yeah, when he drinks right, her blood, he drinks her blood. He is able to have her. But it's not so, romantic. It's very violent. It's it's yes, it is very violent. It's very, I possess you now. I mean, he's like, it's like it will almost like how look look how how, how Whistler's health is depreciated since he's you know met Blade as a boy. Plague fights the war, cancer. She's young and vibrant. One other thing. You can almost say that by yourself being connected to Blade is is, you is, start is like giving you I'm now giving you my life. Well, they, so they, you can fight. So you can go on and fight the good fight. Do you think he helps so. Karen will take over where he might not be able to carry her? <laughs> do I, well, doesn't that what happens? <laughs> it is, but do you think that he hopes that? Do you hope? I, do you believe his motivation? No. At any point, suggest no. okay. I was just a question. I don't think so either. I don't think I so. Was, I was curious. I don't think he. he, he they're, they're, oh, who no. Clinton Tower? At this point, they're just using her for bait. They should cut that out. 
Spider-Web was there, and I was like, oh, it Spider-Man! It looked so real, too. The effects were real. In that teaser trailer. Mm. But, uh, it, yeah, that's just... It's sad now. It's just sad. Yeah, he's just sitting there listening to the Jack Dawn. Well, his glyphs decode. Like, are you kidding me? A tip language that we all speak. <laughs> <laughs> Were we just speaking this language at the table like just a few seconds ago? <laughs> are, are, aren't we the purebloods, the ancient ones? How old are the fucking vampires in this movie? It's never really solidly defined. We do know they all vampires. go back to Dracula. Well, we know that vampires, yeah, have been around for a long time, right? So it's like, like for centuries. Long enough to have what lives. Do you have to I love this, this part. This scene is so erotic. Very much so. Like just kiss him. He just straightens himself up. He's like, yeah, what are you gonna do? Grab his face. Exactly. Are you gonna hit? Are you gonna kill me? Or are you gonna kiss me? Vampires, man. <laughs> That's all I have. That's, That's what this just is. what it is. It's just like, what are you gonna do? You gonna fucking kill me or fuck me? You know? Vampire kill me or kiss me? so good. It's the, it that is. Is, that's a good moment of defining vampires as different in behavior. But it also so shows the power. Oh, yeah. The power dynamic. The power dynamic between. I mean, so fundamentally, what are you going to do? Are you right. going to kill me? Or are you going to kiss me? Right. Are you going to be friends? Or are you going to fucking be enemies? Right. Come down to the line. That's what's going to happen. I mean, you're either on my side or you're not. Plus, it's also degrading. It just shows that you know, you gotta, you gotta, you don't scare me. I did so many dishes today, my neck feels like it's gonna fall. You should do dishes more often. You do less. Often. Correct. We're at camp for what felt like a week, but an excellent week. There's a hole in my couch. There's a hole in the bottom of the seat. There's a hole in the bottom of the seat. There's a hole. There's a hole. There's two vampires in the elevator. <laughs> and they. Isn't this kind of creepy? Would you get go into the elevator with these people? Like, it's like you just you're just noticing these matching tattoos. It's like, oh, that's cute. Said, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is that like what were you like? Karen knew, and it's like she's just deciding. Yeah. Just, just told me that everybody's everybody's don't trust anybody. <laughs> so I'm just gonna trust that these people won't jump me in the elevator. What's up, baby? <laughs> with that. <laughs> But then it's not even that, but I love that take out. Because, <laughs> like, this chick's obviously never seen a movie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's always what you're not expecting. <laughs> I remember when I worked as a familiar in, uh, what was it, 2011, you know, and uh, my master was a fantastic vampire named uh, Edmund. And he, uh, Edmund! Yeah, I know Edmund. You know Edmund? Yeah! How did you? Did you? I met him at the bar. No, we, used, we used to throw darts. Oh, yes, yes. That's Well, that's how I felt. Cause it, actually, he threw a dart at me, and I, it, it, it was laced with poison. I was knocked unconscious and I woke up with a tattoo on your neck. Yeah, and it was on a stone, like it was like a stone basement. And, that's and, it. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, and he oh, called oh, over oh, and he was oh, like, "Hey I'm man, sorry. I'm sorry. you're one of me now, I'm or you will be I'm eventually." But you gotta yeah. do stuff. You gotta get shit to do first. Yeah. 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 Usually, I just take tactics. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know what they're always ripping. I but. run him, you know, medicine bags. They're they're full of red. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm giving them blood packs. Um, and I don't. Know. I don't ask no tell. I don't. That's, I, it. I, I don't that's how you that keep your five. head. I mean, come on, Edmund's got a temper. I saw this yeah. one guy he disappointed him. Ripped his fucking head off, and I was just like, no, I am gonna stay away from you, dick, pissing this guy off. But otherwise, he's a pretty good guy. I missed the uh, I missed the shipment today. Okay? Um, if you don't see Austin the next week, see, she's never seen the movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nobody, nobody said you will, man. But tell me how a human male. And stand on this shit. And you will believe this, but will not believe that a little girl. I'll give it a minute too. Let's see how okay. much. We were gonna have to compare these scenes now. He's pulling right the pl- there. He's pulling it. Right there. It's Come on. A human male to survive a shot to the stomach like that. And all the throwing yeah. at things and things. I can throw you up against the wall. It probably won't hurt. Several punches. You gotta look at the face and look at the gut. Well, I mean, I'm sure he's got a little bit of internal bleeding. But I'm, you know, I'm sure he can survive that. But that little He'll girl. <laughs> the little girl can survive. Look at this guy. Well, he, clearly, he's fucked up. Well, watch this. He's not fucked up enough to, to, to not die. I still think he should have been an issue. That punch. See? There he's knocked on the door. There was knocked on the door. Yeah, but then, okay, well, that's why. Because I, that, that, it woke him up. No, I just like when I deliver for Ed, but we're supposed to. It's still in your trunk. Yeah. It's pretty hot now. Not really hot. That's not really fresh. Go get some fresh. <laughs> yeah, you better rebuild that stuff. Yeah, I don't know where I can get that. Maybe he'll just, maybe he'll just beat you up just like you beat up that blade, beat up that cop there. That face, though, like, what the fuck got away from blade? Hell See, no. everybody just goes back to normal. It's New York City. Instantly. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I think this movie is set in the same universe as every film that comes after. That's right. Well, it has to be. They're so used like, to Definitely. Yeah. Like an Iron Man. So, of course there's vampires. Yeah. Everything else has gone wrong. There was a purple alien here three, like five years ago. <laughs> snapped everybody away. <laughs> yeah, back to normal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, I often kind of wonder what the regular humans in the 616 universe often think. It's like, you know what? I kind of wish I was living in that different universe right now. Well, like what would no superhero? It's like a series I used to watch on... Uh, College humor called Citizens of GTA or no, Black20.com or something. But yeah, it was like Citizens of GTA. I think I've heard that. And it's like it's the same idea. It's like, what would it be like to be a citizen? Like, you know, oh, NPCs. Oh, it's <laughs> fucking terrible. It was Ricky, we were, uh, Ricky died. Yeah. <laughs> he got run over. I think it'd be horrible to be a, an ordinary citizen living in a well, comic book world. Like, are you kidding me? Metropolis gets literally upended by Kryptonian views. Like, <laughs> Shouldn't have came to Metropolis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you really want that to be your last word? Rush by a Thanks. Yeah. You saved everyone but the And then there's the weird sped up. I don't know. Is this. This is like yeah. such a weird situation. It is such a, I don't know, it's just, just such a odd thing to do in this movie. Yeah. Everything else is pretty solid, but the sequence is just like, is your pacing that off that you need to speed that up just a little bit to keep that that couple shots? Or what? And that's clearly what it was, because it's probably that kind of stuff. Like, but I really need this shot. <laughs> <laughs> I have to show them getting it. Yeah, I have to get it. The thing. Your yes. <laughs> this is the detective work of a comic book. 
fed up with it. Just miss it. I miss that. It's, word. it's very, it's very dangerous. I'm ex- that's why I'm excited for Matt Reeves' Batman because I know Batman's going to be serious. Did you hear the news today? I did not hear the news. What is the news? This is that we are getting a lot of special television series set within the same universe as the Batman. It's going to be part of a long multi platform universe. Let me guess the HBO Max. <laughs> I'm not getting HBO Max. You can, you can, you can. But. Yeah, exactly. You can steal it. Oh. <laughs> I love you, Matt Reeves. I, well, I won't be doing that. Support our, our support yeah. artists. Yes, exactly. I, I, you know, that, that's the only thing I will be doing. I might, it might break me. Yeah, it might break me. I don't care what how many jobs I need to work, how many how many books I need to sell. I will, I need to have access to that. He is but going Jeffrey to give you his, his own training. blood just to watch HBO Max. No, but only when that <laughs> series comes out. So who's who's James Gordon? Jeffrey Wright. Yeah. He is he he is from, from Westworld. Okay. I have never seen Westworld. You might have seen him in other things too. He's been an actor. I'm like the only person on the planet who's probably never oh. seen Hunter Games. Maybe at this point. No, no. I'm just here. No, I'm here. I, I took me a long time. Still there. I was shown. So that's interesting. Gotham City Central. Based around Gotham Central, based. Yeah, really hoping. That's what Gotham should have. Oh, all along. Like. That's what I've been. That's what I've been oh telling. That was that. But then they, you know, Fox got the property and they boxed it up. They boxed it. They boxed it. They were like Bruno Heller. Come on in. He's like, I got this great idea. Jim Gordon. Okay. <laughs> we begin with Jim Gordon. And we're going to spawn off to the building. And then build it. That's coming. Also, this is going to be the story of how Penguin becomes Penguin, but not. But not, but is, but also how the Joker is two different people, but also maybe several different people in Gotham City, but actually turns out to be the brother of the one who was actually the third brother that Penguin killed that. Bruce becomes Batman, though. <laughs> right at the very end, we had to spoon feed that in the last couple episodes. And just showed some Gordon. sort of just so we tell we don't do uh, what happened at Supernatural. Jim Gordon does not get his mustache post until the very last episode. It's so bad, unsatisfying. I never watched that show. I never watched. I, I only watched the last ten minutes. I wanted to see the last. I just wanted to see the shot of that. I'm mad. <laughs> and I was like, hey, even that was disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's good job, Gotham. Way to go. go. No, I know there are a lot of fans out there of that show, and I will say, you know, have you read the comics? Yeah, exactly. I'm just kidding. You probably Gotham, have, but the, most, you know what? The, the people that are fans of the show are also probably screaming right now and saying, yes, that's what the show should have been. It should have been. It's just, you should have had McCoy, you should have had Gordon, you should have had Serious Police Procedural. Police Procedural that's around uh, there. I, I'm Batman in the background. Like Ed Brubacher. Uh, yeah, his Gotham Central. The writing is just so, so rock solid. That has some really like patriarchal connotations right there. You can, you can she even, was just waiting even... inside of the bed. I mean, yeah. I am ready for the sex. It's, it's, it's a, it, you know what? It's, it's a late 20th century spin on the cop. Right. <laughs> See, it's wow. like, metal and like That's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's a solid metal like thing. Safe. It's, it's all like just like, man was born in that thing. like what the I am reborn. <laughs> Darth Vader. <laughs> Darth Vader if we would say now. Very good. 
Sorry, the blood guy. The Yeah, exists. I'm sorry, sorry. Let's see, as soon as we learn about, he learns about the, the Magra, we learn about the Magra, and so does Blake. That, that's basically it. That's solid. Three birds. Three birds. Can you hear us over there? See the mic here. I want the mic for you. You never, you never check the mic. Oh, the mic's, mic's perfect. You never. I just want. I'm just curious. This is the first time we we're using this webcam. It's the first time we're doing this. I'm just curious to see how it works. And if someone's watching over there, please drop it in the comments. Let's know that we're good. See, this is what happens. If See, this is what's going to happen to you, that you don't got to get a fresh blood. It's exactly what happens. See, he's licking, licking, licking it all. And then no. he's kissing his girlfriend, the girlfriend's sucking out his tongue. I have been to the tongue. She he is going to have sex on top of your court. It's not going to happen. Let me tell you one. I know people, and I think. Little chicken head? Or are you just dumb? No. We're not alive. <laughs> it's still alive over here. For those of you who just tuning in, we are not on camera at all. But we are still alive. He's here! He's here! He's here! Girl, you're fat, tough as shit. <laughs> I kept you alive for only two reasons. One, to know about the Bagra. And the other, just like looking at you. It's so beautiful. Are you on IG or are you on? IG only has the. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's why I said they were Oh, I thought it was what? Uh, no. Don't worry about it for now. It's already. <laughs> yeah, I was like, we're live on YouTube. It's all good. Son of a nipple. You don't listen. You don't listen. <laughs> we're having a breakdown in the middle of a fucking show. <laughs> People know where to go. I don't feel bad for this. Not at all. Better at this point. Really, <laughs> better really not. No. Thanks. It's just the the log probably eats babies pretty much. So I don't feel bad for it. No, not at all. I don't not feel at all. bad for it either. Not when you put it that way. No. Not at all. No. You know? Smoking so heated, and if you're shocked, the big. Oh, it's always a shock. Okay, <laughs> that's it. Well, I'm doing it. Do what? Do it. Try. Why? Well, 
Facebook. Mm -hmm. Just reiterate, tell people what we're doing. Join us next week when we sit down and watch Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four, yep. Ew. Oh, man, that is going to be a trip. I haven't watched. <laughs> I haven't no, watched I'm so Fantastic excited. Four I'm so in excited. years. Like I don't, I don't, I don't think that movie's gonna hold up at all. I, it has a special place in my heart. I know it's not gonna hold up whatsoever, but it has a special place. I don't know. Yeah. It really does. It's uh, you know what, and it does because it was um, like when you're looking at these movies I'm as a big fan. Two thousand fours, two thousand five. Sorry, Fantastic Four. It was two thousand five. It was two thousand five. Tim Stories, Fantastic. Uh, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. In fact, we're not really what we are talking about. We're also watching Blade. We have to have Kung Fu Kids. Kung Fu Kids are. Hey, we're watching. We're going to get some commentary. We're just talking and chatting. We're going to put you guys over here. Kung Fu Kids. Dude. We need a lot of guys to make that movie. We need a lot of Kung Fu guys. No, I mean, they all have to know Kung Fu. Blade is... Oh, yes. Because this is the part where they finally bring Blade down a bit for a second. And they're like, whoa. Take my arm. It's cool. Are you going to smoke out of that shark? Or... Oh, I just packed it. <laughs> I can't get, I'm going to get the green hand. <laughs> if we're passing this shit around, I'm getting free. Jeez. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. How's that shark treatment? Uh -oh. You were asking. <laughs> I thought we were Jared. Uh, no, stay with us. Hi, Hi, Jolene. Hi, Jolene. We're watching Blade. We're watching Blade. And, and Blade is getting the shit kicked out of him. Uh, for now, anyway. <laughs> anyway yeah. It's going to get better. This year, he's a man who takes his job. Yeah, man. Just feel like. Okay, since we were streaming on Instagram earlier, and now that, you know, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you could always find us on uh, YouTube. Yeah, that's true. We're also on YouTube. On our High on Hollywood account. I get, you know what? I'm not going to, I'm not necessarily going to respond in the comments. I'm just going to say hello. Oh, and that way I can put the camera. Yeah. So we're going to, like, start on the comments and back. Also, he's getting high over here. It's not a different level. It's for sure. It's a... <laughs> See, Whistler just came to his rest. Blade always has a plan. See, that, that's the thing. This only cements my theory of what you guys know that Blade needs that, that overarching father figure. Parental figure taking care of him. Right. Very much a soldier, a kid. Right. Uh, right. And that's after the beginning of the song. Yes. Yeah. Very brief. He needs that parental figure to kind of watch over him. Right. Because he is, he is a killing machine, but he can be. Not just this lone, yeah, kind of like he's not a Superman. He's not Superman. I, you know, I hadn't. I don't actually know if I've seen him. I've had so he did that. You're really yeah. down to down to it. Down to it. Why does Batman have rock? What's the point of the rock? Do you know what I just watched the other day? It was a documentary, and then it made me buy the anthology. Um, it was about the making of Batman Forever, and it was really like, you know, yeah, the, the, the question was brought up immediately, really kind of immediately, you know, like, you need Robin, 
Because it's like it's bad. Batman is really bad Robin. Why don't we have Robin? Right? Uh, and uh, that is actually one of the things that I like about Batman. Like, how it handles Robin. Uh, I just think that we left the window get a little too. And I mean, Tommy Lee Jones as Peter. I well, did a very intense. Yeah. Oh, that that movie is completely over. Was it was the homage. Yeah, and that's what that's what Batman and Robin became even more. It just was a it was downright almost a, well, they were just that sketch, you know. They were just like, okay, let's pull back into this. Let's build the dinosaurs. But as, a, but as yeah, I'm saying, saying you know, <laughs> uh, yeah, I get this one. Uh oh. Not another note, Blade is getting punched. But in the context, oh. like, you keep comparing Blade to like that. It came before. The Batman came before. It, <laughs> yes. So there's, and as we were discussing earlier, that that um, there, there's a lot of homages. There was clearly there's, there's, some. There's some homages to Blade's to the context. Or even if it's not a direct the form homage, you can't comment. But is this a comment? This is a comment. Okay, so like you're, yeah, you do subscribe to the theory that like it's actually you know, there is the comic book movie, or there is the movies are comic book characters within the other within the special movies. So is this more of an action horror, or is this a comic? Book well, movie? I don't think that it's wrong to, to to group comic book films into their own genre. What I think is wrong is when they make it. Wrong. Not recognize that a successful comic book film, in my opinion, does recognize what genre it is being homage to, and even what the source material is from. I think, obviously, when you pick up a Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy comic, you're like, oh, this is a space opera. No, definitely. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you can see it in your head as a space opera as a film. So I think oh, yeah. the filmmakers need to be able to pick up on oh, that. For sure. You, you can't just, just say this is its own specific film. Whereas, well, this I would is argue, the, because like this was the trend as a as a vampire flick right. in the in the late nineties was the beginning of the action vampire where vampires oh, yeah, became yeah, yeah, yeah. we became Under less of a yeah it, it, you know became less of a dramatic character and into more of a, a superhero kind of yeah or even just over the top or even, mm -hmm. although you know Francis Ford Coppola really tried to bring it back he really back yes. little, but that was too much too much. They really tried, you know. They tried. They tried. Patrick and give, I'll give those movies credit where they're credited. Of course, yeah. Both of those movies, Frankenstein yeah. and uh, uh, Oh yeah, yeah. Coppola's yeah, yeah. Dragon and Frankenstein. So Apparently, uh, uh, there are a little Willem credit. Did a, did a video on YouTube about this movie, how they try to do a dark space uh, uh, There's a movie I didn't even know about Julia sure. Roberts or the Doctor Jekyll and Hyde. Yes, didn't even know it existed. Yep. Basically, the 90s. It was, and it was really then, good. And actually, yeah, I, I liked it. Wolf, Wolf with, with Jack, Jack Nicholson. Nicholson. Oh, man. So there really Jack was at the time a resurgence of these movies. Oh, yeah. They, they, they come around. around. They keep coming around. Um, but anyway, this movie in particular, I think, um, even if it doesn't consciously pay homage to Batman, it does owe certain choice to the verse. Just like any other comic book that you know, the things before it was certain guys. Oh, everything is just a remix of what you Oh, yeah. yeah big time. Well, that's, that's the most modern experience. <coughs> I subscribe to the theory that anything after the fucking 1960s is so fun. It's all, it's all just homage or something. Well, and that's, and that's just it. That, that's the perfect word for comic book films as. Uh, 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 Intertextual as a creation, you know, yeah. they they have to be a test teacher. I think that's, yeah, uh, that can't be. Well, they have to. I mean, they're like, look, if you look at any of Snyder's films, I mean, Snyder's yes. films definitely uh, raise the idea that you can take stills of comic books yes, and yeah. put them Bring into them the life. into the movies. And I mean, even as Billy's characters, like when I was reading the comics, I mean, it wasn't until I think it's not until after this movie came out where Blake finally started to actually look the same as as this. 
Right. I mean, the, his suit was, or his, his garb, I guess, or his traditional costume. He was yeah, usually very yeah, was green and has different kind of uh, standoutish elements, where this was just right. solid black. But that's the introduction of the early 2000s. It's comic book. It's like everything that had to be black leather for some fuck. Everything had to look like the fucking Matrix. That's the only thing <laughs> that I really got to say. I'm looking forward to, especially with the MCU's X Men, but it's kind of disappointing. It took so long for the X Men to have colorful costumes. Yeah, they still didn't fucking use them. And they really barely. <laughs> I just, I love in Days of Future Past how it's like, oh, look, Wolverine has yellow armpits, everybody. It's good. <laughs> it's a homage. The fans are going to eat that shit up like she just tried to eat his arm. I would do that. Eat his arm? I would eat a stump. I mean, plus, I'm dressing in stump, man. It's a little blood and shit. I'm hungry. <laughs> I don't know what kind of uh, there's this part that I have out there on the ball over here, but. Uh, if I was a vampire, cannibalism is not off the table. I would not do it. As a vampire, Unless cannibalism is not off the table as a vampire. You're already like drinking your blood. No, but you know what? That's just. It's, that's all the extra stuff. You don't need that. You don't need that. Vampires, you know, are, you could have it. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to judge. As a fellow, if we were fellow vampires, I wouldn't mean to be judging you for your choice. It would be like vegan versus, well, not vegan. I'd be more like a vegetarian. <laughs> Compared to your. A Presbyterian vegetarian? Red meat. <laughs> yeah. A Presbyterian? Yeah, a Presbyterian versus a Protestant. Uh, I don't have to talk about food. Is this necessary? We're, we're seeing Deacon Frost and his girlfriend making out at sunrise. Obviously, this is a very, very celebratory moment for them. They're setting their, their plans in motion. It seems to humanize them. But, like, the idea of the sexualized family is still very rooted in this movie, still rooted yes. in that genre. Like, you're saying, it's like, there's a very, there's an eroticism <laughs> to Deacon. He's, oh, this is when they barbecue the photo cure. Yeah. He's very red. He's already gay. <laughs> sad. But it makes sense, right? Like vampires wouldn't be that sensitive. They eat the slightest light. Right? And I was like, that's actually kind of brilliant. Yeah. Most people think the sun has yeah. here. Like, oh, so you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I mean, I always, it's not always envisioned that it would be like, it's just the, oh, that's they right. could survive in really dark shadows, right? Yeah. I yeah. think. Where this is just saying, no, fucking sunrise, you're dead. As soon as dawn comes, <laughs> it's dead time. I mean, even like uh, Whedon's Buffy. It's actually, it's even Buffy. The vampire starts that whole action vampire kind of stuff like that. Yeah, it is. So I'll probably walk my statement long. back a little bit there because it was really because of Buffy the Vampire Slayer really they started getting vampire vampire action. You just don't fucking get movies. Like oh, no, I don't know. I haven't actually watched uh, all of them. I'm, I'm too, I'm so, you know, too much of a humor of people. I'm not watching all I'm a fan of. I'm a fan of Todd Bowles' Yoko. Everybody on Facebook is doing it. This is artwork by Emily and Sakeki, a local artist, Dawn and Clement. And also, watch the movie Joker. Have a nice day. Yep. He needs to watch it. Apparently, I need to watch it. We're talking about comic book movies. Also, by the way, it's pulled out of the vampires. He's proven a point. All along, he's saying, you know what? I'm not afraid of you. Uh, I love this. I love like, this animation. animation. This animation is just so perfect. If you're going to do a film, this is, this is the kind of thing you do. It's not that expensive. It's done with animation, practical effects, and a little bit of CGI work. And then, and then you can stand right there and watch something explode. Be like, yeah. that's pretty satisfying. <laughs> that was a satisfying moment, actually. Well, I mean, I'm act, I feel. I mean, the uh, thing is, the whole the whole moment was very sexual. Oh God! Even to like, the point where it's like the orgasm is literally when he when the when he explodes. So like this sets yeah. the entire tone, the rest of the tone of the movie. So now we're we're at the halfway point now, where it's not focused on on the, uh, the blade and 
Karen's, Karen's relationship. Yeah. Now we're focusing more on the mission. Well, we we let the villains journey. Yeah, exactly. So he's fulfilling his his destiny, his heart. They, they're balanced. They're yeah. Kind of, but, uh, spirits. They really did set up like a very a, and a nice juxtaposition between I agree. And Frost. Yeah. Yeah. So Both people so like that just. Especially what we'll, we'll find out in the next scene. So. In the infamous throw the girl through the fucking hot dog sense. <laughs> well, infamous for you, sir. Because I think it's perfectly reasonable. It's perfectly reasonable to throw a little girl through a hot dog stand. <laughs> Don't put words in my mouth. Daredevil came after this, and that, that had some pretty good Chris there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Oh, trying to blow up Blade's eyes here. So, cute. I mean, you could sing to me, Chris Christopherson. Sing me a song, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I just got it. Hey, what's an Irish <laughs> That would be way out for left field. Yeah, yeah I'm, Chris I'm, Christopherson, the lady. It's like, like I'm texting. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, what was the what was the accent? Yeah, what were you trying to do? Hey, why did I say hey? Anyway, hey, what, what is the accent? I was go, I was going for more. What is the accent? Why, 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 why is every time that we we have to go into a Canadian accent? Got a couple screws loose there, eh? But now you sound Ontario. Good, right? Hey, bud. Hey, bud. How you doing? Wait, you say Ontarian? Ontarian. Yeah, I guess that is. It's well, Ontarian. Yeah, well, yeah, it's totally Ontarian. Ontarians are safe. Keep your eyes on your own. Remember, I am from Manitoba. A Manitoba. I'm a Manitobin. You're a Tobin. You're a Tobin. I'm a Tobin. Like at, you know, I'm like not from Ontario. Ontario, and yes, you guys have an accent. <laughs> you guys yeah. say you say some fucking weird shit in Ontario. You say carriage. We say garage. Oh, garage. Who the fuck is it? Who said that? Garage. People do. People, people say that. People say garage. How can you not? Okay, well, anyway, point. there are people who say People say different things. Yes. You're like, how can there be people that say, you don't seem so <laughs> garage. Just believe it. It's a weird thing. It's like bagel versus boggle. I know. It's like, this is, the thing is, we're watching Blade for anyone who's just joining us now. And. We're talking about Canadian idiom, idioisms. Idiosyncrasy. <laughs> Idiosyncrasy. We're talking about Canadian accents and the differences between Canadian different provinces. Well, two. Well, so I can know all about it. Well, I'm not an old And then Blade just why he is such a street hero. He just walks totally. through totally. the streets like such a badass. I like think Luke Cage. Like, that's. You know, that's why they should put. I, I want the MCU to focus on more street characters. I think they should. They should lean into that a little bit because they did the overarching, you know, save the world thing yeah. for the last ten years. Uh, let's mellow it out a little bit. And let's let people lead up now. Let's see some new characters grow. Sorry, Deacon Frost is so hot right now. <laughs> no, he was there for a second, very model like, with the flashing. But now we got the. Okay, this is that really cool scene. There's more significance to this scene than you need on. Not only are they centralized in Little China, what is that saying? I think there's a commentary on Orientalism. I think it's a little bit of a commentary. Or on the fact that, you know, what's, I think it's a commentary on the idea of like the myth, the melting pot. Right? The mosaic. Yeah, right, right. Uh, these little towns, pure blood, African American, vampire. There, there is definitely, you know, let's unite. There's this, it's trying to say let's unite, but it's more unite in this more fascist kind of stupid way. <laughs> Like, let's yeah, everybody well, be the same. <laughs> because, yeah, let's all be in one blood. You know, yeah. So let's all basically die to be together. It's very cultish. Yeah. Um, like, like, look, look at these, how they are projecting. But really, it's also yeah, plague, horror, famine, and then the intercut these shots 
of Chinese people walking Asian Americans. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and, you know what? Yeah, it's better. Asian Americans because it's centralized. In America. In a, in a, in a, in a, well, in yeah. that slice of what we call um, I'm off with little slices of little, lunch, little yeah. China. Little, yeah. little, little, little Italian. Italian. Yeah. 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 The spirits of the twelve will awaken the mantra. Blood God. Nothing to me. What's this thing? It's okay. Like, yeah, to me. It's like, I'm not going to join your suicide cult. You're a bad guy. <laughs> Some kind of you're holding, suicide squad. You're holding a fucking little girl hostage oh. and you're talking to me about peace, unity. <laughs> Again, though, this is a moment that highlights the way it may embarrass what you're saying. Yes. If you want to take the hard road, because he's basically willing to let this little girl. Yeah, we'll see. Through the hot dog stand. Look at this. He takes the shot. The little girl's still there. It's true. He's still in the But hands. he could have been like, he's a vampire. He could have grabbed her. Boom! Oh, come on. She could survive. She only hit the top of the hot dog. Stand. She went right through that fucking hot dog stand. This is an argument we're going to have. For the look, look at this. And then she almost gets hit by a bus. But he saves her. And that's the moment where you're like, no, he's an anti hero. Come on. Look at that. Look, look, at, look, at, at, look, at, look at how hard he got it. He, he, he beat the shit out of the cop. And there's blood and guts. And you're saying, oh, you can survive okay, that. There should have been, more blood. She I mean, been, been a little more cut up. Yeah. Like, she shouldn't have been able to get up and just run away. Yes. Okay? Yeah. After being thrown through that hot dog. Yeah. She should not have been able to just be like, oh, fuck. No, I got right. late for school. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Like, wrong, that was right. weird. I just got kidnapped by some white dude and he threw me through a hot dog stand. <laughs> like I said, I think shock and adrenaline would have carried her to the hospital. And, uh, I think she should have recovered in blood. She should have recovered. She blood. ran to school. We're watching Blades for anybody who's joining us just now. And now she's traumatized for the rest of her life. <laughs> Well, that's for sure. Everybody who <laughs> encountered Blade in this movie is left traumatized. In this All of this. All of it. It's commenting. So I'm interested. Thank you, Julian. It was good to see you. Thank you for watching. We'll be doing this more often. Live stuff. And uh, yeah, talking. Commentary. And as it were, the shark will be here. Yes. Oh, wait, is that Karen? Oh, damn. Oh, okay. Karen's dropping now. Sleep, more confident. She's shaky. She, she knows what she's doing. She's like, I gotta beat this virus. Chris Christopherson would have done that uh, shot. See, as a strong female character, she is definitely coming to her own. She's, she's like, okay, I'm already taken. But she really, after, after, really, after they, they used her for bait, and she really figured all that shit out. Now she's like, okay, I can do this. I can get it. Sorry, I'm just watching Tristan Thompson. Face beating it. It hurts. Here to watch. Those beautiful golden pipes. How many roads must a man walk down? Knocking on heaven's door. <laughs> yeah. It took her. It took her. <laughs> Give me that gun, you son of a bitch. Son of a bitch, now run. Oh, run away. No. Go save the girl. Yes, I know. Because, like, this is bad. What happens? What happened at the beginning of this movie when he met Karen? The flashback. There was a nice intricate flashback between surrogate father and mother. Yeah. Like, like in that mama. instance. There, was... <laughs> there you go. And there then, you go. And then she was like, I didn't touch the sword. But then he was like, no. I, don't I need you as my mom. Yeah. I don't need you touching my, my stabby weapon. Because my actual <laughs> mom wants to touch my stabby because weapon. Because I so get off by killing her. By penetrating Clearly. Her. Blade gets off by penetrating, killing that one. That's, that's the only pleasure that he gets. 
And that's the only way you can get satisfied. It's the only way you can come. Endless king vampires. There's just definitely no strangulation for him. Right. No Bugatti. Not in the auto asphyxiation. Yeah, of course. You know, uh, when I was a kid in the 60s, uh, growing up on that college campus, looked like this guy. <laughs> just, <laughs> that was me. Campus. Just every weekend after I come out of the bush, you know, after a bender. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck like, yeah. Covered in blood. Just covered in blood, my neck torn up. You know, another deer head on my head. You know, that's always weird. You right? know, that's Have deep. you ever woken up in the forest with that? Yeah. You ever had your, your hand oh. all sides of boots? You ever felt that? Yeah. Wear bird heads on your neck like like a necklace? No. Pretend you're the bird guy? No, no. Just when the full moon's out, I turn into a werewolf. That's, you know, I don't want to go hunting. I'd say that's average. That's good. Good stuff. That's on par. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Like, that's healthy. That is a healthy way of doing it. Um, Because if you don't let that happen, Right, they keep growing up. I have friends who've been lichen. Or have had lichen syndrome. So, uh, sorry, I know this is all it. I don't like the syndrome. Yeah, well, I don't know. Like, lichen, what, what, what do you call it? Like, like the tree, but like, you call it that you're, you say you're lichen. I'm a lichen. You're a werewolf. I'm a werewolf. Yeah, like, like, like yeah I don't know. Some people consider that a derogatory term. So. I don't like the term shapeshift. I just think it has weird connotations. I don't intend to shape shut and use it for nefarious purposes. You know what I mean? I think that that's what that kind of has attached to. So, breaking the pitch. <laughs> there's, a, there's a heartfelt moment between these two characters where he is finally so saying sad. goodbye to his father. I know you shouldn't feel that way. It's perfectly okay. Shit. Shit. You're not shit. You just can't help it. I'll walk away. Bye, Papa. Walk away. away. Don't cry. You're a man. And a, a toxic kind of basketball figure, but also I care about you. Stupid son of a bitch. Be a man. That soundtrack. The, the thing oh, is that he looks like he's about to cry. Oh, the emotion is there. there. He's not stone faced. Like it is there. I decided to watch the movie. I like what's up. So, <laughs> you just pissed off the wrong dude. You about to be sliced up. For you. But you know it's a trap. He's like, yeah, but gotta, you don't care. No. He's like, I gotta get beaten up to get in. And then you gotta get roughed up. You gotta get roughed up. Is that how it works, right? Is that how it works? Yeah. Can you believe Jared Leto and cameos and cameos and Morbius? And then 20 years later, <laughs> that wasn't him. What third one was it? Well, the deleted scene. And that wasn't him, I think. It was him. It wasn't him. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he wasn't even old enough to play Morbius. He was actually. I'm sorry. He was in his twenty. He was in his twenties because he was in American Psycho. Right. So, so it, it's possible that he could have been. been. <laughs> <laughs> but point being, that is not. Who it's like you know what? You just totally destroyed and unraveled my joke. Exactly. Yeah. So, so yeah. killed it. Thanks for that. <laughs> You're welcome. You are welcome. G. Wilkers. Jimmy Tanner. You know? Have you seen little tests? <laughs> <laughs> Head top. Wait, no. 
I don't know. I just. At this point, I don't want to know who the actor. Oh, this is Stephen Dorff. Yes. <laughs> I was like, Have you ever that? seen? Um, oh, I don't like this. No, The Gate. No, I actually haven't. If you haven't seen his old, like it would be with a child. He's a child. Oh, I don't see that or not. Oh, the eighties. Started. He was he was in horror movies. The game was a pretty good. Movie. It's about a hole. If these kids found a hole in their backyard, and it's a gateway to hell. Well, so creatures really. crawl out of it at night. It was really cool. Yes. Yeah. That's so what I want to watch tonight. I definitely want to watch tonight. Never seen it. Never read it. Yeah. Did you get that spot? I think I own it. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Must have gotten. Well. What are we going to do for what horror? Yeah, well, we're going to talk about a bunch of things. It just... Oh, we should watch. Yeah, we're going to watch. There's going to be some, 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 some more cool of things happening. Right the we need this scene. Do you know why we need this scene? Because we need to test and intensify the movie. It's very dramatic so far. It was very sad. Because the villain always has so to be pure blood and messy. Exactly. It has to be dramatic. The monologue. This definitely. I do express detail from one of the allies that's probably likely going to survive. But I don't really consider that an option. Because I think I will stop. Oh my god! Blade's here! <laughs> hey boss! Blade's here! Good. Now my master plan can start off. Yeah, literally. <laughs> now we can begin when he arrives. <laughs> that is actually kind of how plot works. Nope. That being said, Well, this is obviously a trap. Yeah. He gets caught. Although we let, you know, on the other hand, he brought a long character that slaughtered by the cat. Well, thing is, as you said before, you have to, the thing about these characters is they're an unstoppable force, and you have to just throw bodies at them. Otherwise, it's just not interesting. Exactly what they're laying out right now. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I get it. We gotta let Blade kill all our guys so then we can draw this out. Yeah. And then we can, you know, get him at the end. <laughs> let Blade have his fun. The giant kid. Let him have his fun. <laughs> The kids ever seen anything like that? Eh? Well, the last little boy with a shotgun kids. The, but, but the way, there, if, you, if you notice that all these bodies are not turning into vamp, uh, like not turning into dust or anything, they're all humans anyway. <laughs> I just work for them. I was three days from the time. Damn it. Yes, sir. Flip all the switches dramatically. This is why you don't work for vampires. Yeah, no kidding. Why would you? Yeah, no, I mean, it's a good choice. I love these guys. Sad what happened. Yeah, I mean, I love, I love their enthusiasm. Like when I'm playing Skyrim, I'm like, oh, yeah, that was great. I'm going to incinerate. It's Jill from accounting. Oh, oh no, not that. And Carl! 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 Carl. Carl. Oh, Carl. Oh, Oh, what a way to die. Oh, God. Oh, no, we're lucky to Barry, you're going to need to clean this shit up. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, I don't like Barry. Don't send Barry. No, Barry, he's got to go. He's the only one that qualifies you to clean up this kind of mess. He's got the hazmat certificate. Yeah, he, he knows how to clean it. Did you see the kind of mess that made? I think that Carmichael could clean it up himself. <laughs> Personally, with his enthusiasm and his drive. Carmichael? Say. Okay, we'll send Carmichael and Barry. They can get that shit up done lickety split. We can get these houses back on the market. I mean, <laughs> the vampires are only renting these things out. They're always making a mess anyway. Blade, meat, Hermasha. Oh. <laughs> see, you can see your tit right through the. <laughs> oh, there's a man here. Wait a minute. Nice, huh? I'm just a little bit weird. Yeah, got this point, actually. 
This is very, yeah, I guess Freud was right. I hate vampires sometimes. And the only reason why Freud is right is he's good. Oh right. my god. Have you seen that watch kid? I want to kiss my mother. I must expel my father. I must expel my father to get to my mother. Yeah, that's true, though. But it's very Hamlet. Oh! Yes, and who's in a relationship? Taken down by Thebes. There's a white man. Your mommy! I'm your stepdad. You're gonna treat your mom like this in front of me? Stop! Jabbing me with freaking <laughs> dangers and I'll react to this. <laughs> so you the one that just came in here and started tasering me. Like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> I was totally chill up to this point. <laughs> Wait, no. I love you, Frank. Oh, no. Here we are. One big happy fucking thing. Hold on. Sorry. That's all. This is your who's <laughs> Who's fault of it? Hi. What a party, hey? What a party, yeah. Uh, too many there's margaritas. A, there's another one. Yeah, okay. Double check. That's a lot of margaritas. That's a lot of margaritas. <laughs> I'd love a margarita right now. Glass. Margaritas. But, uh, well, now we gotta summon the Magra. Party God. <laughs> the Party God is here. Yeah, the party, the party God, yeah. The Blood God, not the Party God. That's the Magra. The Magra. When is Spawn gonna show up? <laughs> uh, wrong property. They can cross over. No, he yeah, has. He's only crossed. No, he's only crossed. But as far as I know, as far as I've read, he's only crossed over. Spawn, Spawn versus Batman is very good. Image seems to think to play well with it. Uh, Marvel is like, no. No, you want to go? You want to go and make your own company? We're not. We're not. We're not. Uh, the only crossovers I usually see that from Marvel. Is well, I've seen that. Well, they have crossed over with the Transformers and G.I. Joe. They have crossed over with DC as well. And DC as well. I mean, she wanted to be so long. They know this with the amalgamated universe, you know. Every geek knows that information, okay? When all of our fans are in geeks. It is 2020. Everybody's a geek now. Everybody yeah. has come out of that sock drawer. Ever since the Big Bang Theory came out, everybody's a geek. Yeah. Everybody is a geek. Everybody is. We're all geeks. Even Stephen Dorfman. Yep. Wesley Snipes definitely would punch you in the face. Why are we here? Guess him. It's totally. It's what would you, what would you do if you just all of a sudden Stephen Dorf just this kissed him right now? It's like, you know what? What would Wesley Snipes do? Because <laughs> that wouldn't be a blade moment. No. <laughs> Oof. Instead, this happened. But nonetheless, thank yes. you. I mean, Steve Dorf is even him. I think America was the freak. This. Uh, I don't know about 1998. Probably fine. Hi, people. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Just want to say hi. I'm checking on you. We're watching Blade. We're in the last little bit. This is Act Three. Act Three is seen. Um, Scene seven. This is the interior <laughs> ceremonial pit. You see, Deacon Frost is the touch of Blade's penis. You know, there is an interesting implication <laughs> for sure. Because, you know, Frost holds a lot of the sexual energy throughout the film, too. Yeah. But again, you know, I think it's interesting. Yeah, just got this room. I just grew this Just kidding. Stuff. Yeah, like. Uh, <laughs> Wouldn't that be just terrible? He just totally whacked my arms out. Please, we can't hear you. Thirsty's back. All I can hear is the blood pumping through your veins, lady. This is your serum. Oh, 
so far, Deacon Frost is not so smart after all. Doesn't doesn't know so much at all. Can you imagine if he just jammed it in the blade and that ended the movie? <laughs> how, it, how it should have ended. <laughs> it's so fuck. Karen's like, no. The thing is, if he did jam it into Blade right now, he would never have been able to get Lamagra. The entire movie would end. So either game way, over. Yeah. Fair enough. Then the curb your enthusiasm. Shame. Too bad these guys can't turn into bats. That's the one thing that's missing from this movie. Yeah. It's like that. Yeah, you know. You're all that he had. Do you know what? I keep my promises. Do you know why? Let's go. I've got a crack war. Yes. <laughs> Meet your boyfriend. Yeah, you know. You know. <laughs> See? Comes on a little strong, I think. Some kind of zombie. Look at those catacombs. All right, we're in the uh, act. Yeah, who, who knew? Who knew? Who knew? La Magra's Temple is in just New York City. It's been there. It's been there for thousands, maybe even tens of thousands of years, just sitting in. Just right under New York the, City. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the island of Manhattan. You got Spider-Man. You got Spider-Man. You got the Fantastic Four. Then again, we don't know uh, if this is New York. This could be Jersey. This could be. No, it's, I think it's New York. We saw the Twin Towers. No. And that was an establishing shot. So. Oh, jeez. Dark over there. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, we can turn the light. Yeah, maybe we should. Right there. <laughs> no, I feel like this. Hopefully, you don't just hear the fan from the. Karen! 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 Oh, Karen! Your zombified boyfriend. Are you having second thoughts about us? I want to eat your face. Um, <laughs> You beat him with a bone. I told you no. Keep adjusting it. Hi. Now you can see me in the lower perspective. Very, very low. We're, we're, we're low. Oh God. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I'm gonna give you my crotch. We're getting in, oh, into God. that. Into the, we're, we're in the third act of Blade here, and we're we're I'm high on Hollywood. We're we're getting low. Low on Hollywood That's a now. Very, very good angle for you. I love that. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, that's not working, folks. Are you kidding me? I am gorgeous. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying you're not. I'm just saying it's too much for them to handle. They can't, no, handle, well, they can't handle this much sexy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I could have done this. Yeah. As you'll learn, I'm not a big guy. Uh, I am not a huge popcorn fan. I just figured it would look cool as a prop. I like eating real food at the theater, which is a problem because it's expensive. Yeah. But I love getting a poutine and a slice of pizza. And then they use the popcorns here and now. Especially and gone by the end of the previews, which, I mean, my favorite part is going to the previews. We have to go to the previews. I'm so pissed. And I go with someone who's like, that's ah, fine, the previews are meant to be messed up. I'm like, fuck you, no. <laughs> That's why you go to the theater is to watch the new the new movie coming out. I don't know how many times I watched the Infinity War and the new trailers before I would go to like a movie and see them. Like I just because to live them out on screen too. Like even if I've seen it before, sometimes it's just like sometimes you see a trailer on screen it's hyped up even more for the movie. Fuck yeah! You know? Wait, it's making me see exactly. Talk about overarching sexuality. 
Blade and his mom have a very close relationship in this film. They just met. <laughs> they just met. Oh, you know, he came out of Riverdale. You know, it's, it's fine. Incest is fine when you're a vampire, apparently. Apparently. Which, okay. you know, is an interesting thing to establish, for sure. Like, as an actual trait or characteristic of vampires. It's, as a not, it's not unheard of, though. It's the incest trope going back for centuries. Right. Keeping so. blood pure yes. was an overarching uh, ideology. I mean, that's the overarching ideology of this film. It's the idea of the pure. Well, it's the idea of pure blood versus uh, half breeds, right? Right. Even Blade is half that's human, true. half vampire. He's a daywalker. It's all about you know it's, blood and it's, it's, and it's all about purity. It's a, this is yeah. about power and the balance of power. And even that fascism. I mean, what was Dracula all about? Was this idea of, well, like, even like Dr Dracula, you can make the ah. argument that Dracula was about a reverse colonization, right? Fear, for your fear of the immigrant, mm. right? Isn't that ironic? I love horror movies. But you hate blood. dripping blood. But just, dripping yeah, blood it gives you. Blood, especially dripping blood from the wrists. Ah. I don't know why. Yeah, actually, yeah. Like, you get about spiders. That's I guess so, maybe, yeah. No, it's true. Oh, fuck you. You put a spider I think in front I'm of a... Oh, God. It just really bugged me. I don't know why. I almost passed out when Rachel cut her leg shaving. And it was just a little stream of blood. <laughs> but I literally, I literally had to lay... I got the shippers. I got a cold blood label. And, you know, wow. It, it was bad. I was trying to figure out what happened. I was like, oh, God, I have COVID all of a sudden. But then it went away really quickly. And, you know, I had to have Of course. Of course. That is that the way where your mind would go was we'll go wow, yeah. But then the other thing that clued me into it not being that was the fact that my body was actually starting to seize. I yeah. got to lay down because I was shivering so hard in the elevator. But it wasn't just shivering, it was my muscles were like seizing. So I was like, and then I finally relaxed and I felt my body like Yeah. Ooh, just so I was like, holy shit, my yeah. body just had a panic response to something like that was fully a panic attack. Wow. It's interesting. So, just so you know, I might not be great in helping a situation. So okay. Um, serious amount of blood. We're watching Blade, speaking of blood. So, how are you going to be a horror director? Oh, I'm fine with that kind of blood. Okay. Like I said, I am actually fine with that so, kind of blood, and I have a vision when it comes to that kind of If I take you out in the middle of woods, I'm also good with horror, which, which is different. What do you think and we you get know? suddenly oh, hunted by, like, some blood demon or axe off. That's not the horror. And it attacks one of us. You're gonna be just totally shut down. So uh, I get cleaved. <laughs> right down here. And you gotta, you gotta, well, you know, if I'm still alive, are you not gonna pull me out? To help you, yes, you're, you're not gonna pull me out. You're just gonna leave me there. You'd still be, you'd be dead, man. If you got cleaved by me. Well, I mean, like, you just, you got I'm gashed. It's, it's not, oh, you know, it's okay. gash. It's a nice okay. gash. It's okay. billing. You know, you, yeah, I'm still alive. Okay. Are you gonna grab me and hold me, or it's like, oh, you got blood? Yeah, I can't do that. Fight or flight. My hope is that I would be able to respond to fight or flight. I think my adrenaline would propel me in a situation like that because it'd also be a physical threat to our survival. Okay. It's yeah. just to know. Just to make sure. With Rachel, it was a controllable situation, so I was <coughs> like, oh yeah, we can totally freak out here. <laughs> And just, I, I know I gotta bring us back to the to, to Blade for a second there. Of course. She just killed that guy, that vampire. Yeah, I, mean, I brought this up before. Didn't they need that guy? Not like he wasn't he one of the ancient I know, guys. I know, I know. Compromise. We're in the very like We're last like probably twenty five minutes of Blade. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna be gods. Of course we are. I'm gonna be naughty. I'm gonna be the naughty vampire god. You're gonna be dope. Oh, yeah, I'm totally gonna like yeah. hunt the peasants down and like face off them. That's See, the first order. this is the underlying drawback to Deacon Frost's ultimate plan here to unite the people and the vampire race is that he's keeping all of his power to himself. He has no intention of uniting anybody, he just yeah. wants power. He's got more of a Loki and Avengers kind of thing here. Yeah. Or, uh, kind of total subjugation. Nice very low-key. <laughs> yeah. Very low-key. Exactly. Oh. Which I am very interested in watching. 
I'm gonna watch every. Other I'm gonna be watching it. Yeah. I'm down for one division because uh, you know what, Elizabeth Olsen. I was still. I love Tom King's run. Uh, I love her in anything. I can watch Elizabeth Olsen in anything. She's she's oh, she's, she's, she's fantastic. fantastic. You know who I love though is also Elle Fanning in uh, yes. The Great. Everybody watch The Great. It's worth Prime Video especially if you watch it. The Great. It's about Catherine the Great. Uh, okay. Of Russia. And it is. Take your hands off me. Yeah, they're, the council is about to get messed up in Blade 3. And uh, we're going to see them get sacrificed in Blade. God. Yep. As their, Blade. Their shit is getting fucked up. Penetrates Karen in his teeth. In very violent uh, scenes. Everybody Here comes the blood. Here comes the blood. I'm Gotta thirsty. <laughs> I know I'm thirsty. But I really don't, you know, want to turn into a bat. I really just, I'm not in the mood to have my skeleton rip out of, like, be vomited out of my chest. You ever or, seen my throat, you know? Uh, yes. One of my favorite parts is when Pyramid Head literally grabs the woman by the, oh, it's terrible. And then literally rips it's her skin right off. <laughs> like it's a freaking blanket. It's so gross. And you're right, like, this scene is just this ultimately is really, really violent. And then this you have violent, yeah. you have the blood, you have the blood coming together. So like, it's like it's almost like he's raping her. He's on top of her. He's possessing her. He is basically saying, "I need your life. I need your life to, to face off against the gods." Very anti. Where I once again, I think a real force is going to be anti. We don't really know if we can trust him. Because she's there there is a great, there is a greater good. There is a greater good. No, she can, she can. She does say stop. At one point. Yeah. Keeps going. <laughs> just because, just because it's what he needs. Doesn't you're, you're right. You're right. There is the. Oh, I will. I refuse to take it. And that's why I agree with your earlier statement that it is like a sexual assault. In the way like he's evocative of that. And now he's got all this power. And he's able to slay the demon of his past. <laughs> uh, well, he just came all over Deacon Frost. I mean, that was <laughs> yeah, that's, <what> <laughs> that's there, totally exactly. just like, and Deacon's just like, oh yeah, I'm ripping it now. Oh. Give me some of your god juice. Oh, there goes the council. Sacrifice to Lamba. <laughs> Just look at it. It's just like, oh my god, this is the best experience of my life. Well, I'm just turning the cat one. Well, because now she's the new mother. I'm pretty sure that's the, that's what that's what it is. is that she is moved into the whisper role now, and because she wasn't able to, like they're able to touch and now have that bond, right. which is reinforced by the ending. I can only agree. Like, it, there, which ultimately also reinforces the idea of the, the incest of the world, like sexuality. Because there's still that avid uh, relationship between right. everybody. Or Deacon. Was so obsessed with was, was so obsessed with Blade that he had to have that mother figure. He had mother, Blade's mother literally in a coffin, in a, encased. Right? It was so it was like that empty. There, and now she's released. All these guys are released. Also reinforces Blade's, um, you know, um, he's on death row, I guess, as well. Big bang. This may be the only part of the that's Yes. 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 However, they, it still, it's still, pretty good. It's still, it's still, still pretty good. Yeah, it's still like a haunting attack. Exactly. Mm -hmm. 
and see now he's getting violated. I love this. Like I love the uh, the idea of the whole you know huge sexual over to undertones overtones. As he's invaded. And the hair should have went up. Okay. Because <laughs> yeah, the hair was wasn't. Like, the hair wasn't. <laughs> I didn't like that effect. Now, Matrix. Superhero landing. Oh, yes, that's right. Superhero landing. Enter a Matrix movie. Until he gets to get the glasses first. Yeah. And it's Matrix. I love how easy Bam. It's like, yeah. Why did you do that? The, the, the entire movie is just <laughs> toying with them. <laughs> Which is so funny. <laughs> it's like, you know what? I'll kill you eventually. Right now, I'm just going to make you suffer a little bit. <laughs> well, if you think about it, you're going to just sort of like Matrix came out after this too. That's the question. It came out a year after The first no, Matrix two. Oh, Matrix one came out in nineteen ninety five. I'm almost positive. Oh, I don't. I don't. Well, let's go to the Universal Google machine. Matrix. Oh. Oh my god. The first Matrix movie came out in 1989. Oh yes. shit. So yeah. It's so okay. It was in production. There you go. The Wachowskis were like watching Blade and been like, okay, that's it. Neo, Morpheus, Sir Morpheus. Frost! Yeah, this is just now I just, this is one of my dad's favorite movies. Um, and and I love this, the slot machine. Noises, yeah. Yeah. I really understand why this is one of my dad's favorite action movies. Oh, look at this. Like, even the choreograph is just perfect. You know, like, on par. Like, and it wasn't until, like, Blade Trinity that, that choreographing had actually started really getting. Like, they were pulling out WWE movies. Right. <laughs> like, body slams and Shit. No, exactly. <laughs> Garlic. See, that's a vampire. Garlic trap, man. Terrible. I love that. In any freaking Kung Fu movie, we're just sitting there kicking back and forth. I can kick higher than you. My sword! I love that. I love that shot. There's so many shots in this area. I'm like, yes, we need these in all the concerts. That's right. This is why the street from Comic Book movies were always so much better than the big overarching comic books. Overarching movies. But I think all they remind me is that the big overarching movies waste so much potential. Oh, well, look at Iron Man. Oh, yes. I think Iron Man has the, the best example of a failed franchise. Iron Man. That's the number one, two, and three. Just the, the, the overarching narrative just kind of comes. He can only meet. He, okay. Let's go out. Go, go, just yeah, chill listen, out. I'm listening, I'm listening. Okay. I'm Before you get all judgy I'm here, I'm talking about the Iron Man movies. One, two, and three. Okay. Iron Man has always been good for the supporting characters and the supporting cast. He relies heavily on the characters that he interacts with. Okay. And then scared as overarching. I did not like the three. I thought three was kind of boring. Is the whole key is <laughs> yes. yeah. Uh, narrative was fair. just. I'm sorry. I like this. I know, this is another effect that doesn't uh, doesn't hold well. It's a it's, a it's, it's, it's very dated, being cartoonish, but it's it's something. It's a bit like because you get the left. It's like oh my god, hello. This is like so, when it becomes super common. Yes. Like, I, 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 the narrative of, of the three movies, I did not enjoy. No. I really liked Iron Man 1. Iron Man 2 was okay as a, as a movie. Yeah. But Iron Man 3, when you, 
did the whole fucking manual thing. It was just like, I'm done. <laughs> and it was just, yes, okay. It was Tony whining for a whole fucking movie. Iron Man 2. We already had a movie like that. Iron Man 2 is the biggest for me. Yeah, well. Boom. There are different emotions. The PTSD and Iron Man. Because I feel like, are you referring to something more? Iron Man 3, where he's really suffering from PTSD after. No, I know, but you said you referred to another time. Why? Why? Yeah, he winds in the Iron Man 4. Very much not. He's just kind of like the whole argument half Civil War. No, Civil War, yeah. Iron Man 4. (laughs) Captain America 3, or Iron Man 4, you want to call it? Avengers (laughs) 2.5. Yeah. Although on the on our mar- on my and Rachel's marathon rewatch of the MCU, uh, I, I felt I felt like Darren Man really did yeah, actually found up a lot better. That's all. You know what? Really I, yeah, you know what? I will need to see them in sequence like that, like to yeah. actually just go through them all one by one, one after another, and and kind of look at them as a whole arc rather than you know singular movies, right? I actually really I I just did, I just didn't enjoy Iron Man. Okay. I liked how good that was. And uh, where it fit in the timeline. There are moments that I do enjoy. It's just, they're not my favorite. You don't have to like them. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to so. defend my position. You threatened me. There are a you lot of people. Me. A lot of fans were not only divided on it. Like, yeah, they were, yeah, they were divided on it, yeah. They're not alone. I am alone. <laughs> I'm a lone wolf. And there is the end of Deacon Frost. Let's get out of here. Let's get out getting, of here. getting exploded by his serum. Blade takes his sword back. That's the end of a good that's day's hard, hard day's working. So that's it. I mean, and then we get the infamous, you know, Morbius scene where it's supposed should've to be, should've where it should have been. And because, you know, all horror movies end off in sunlight. For the next one. Jason jumping out of the water. There's Morbius on this time. Yeah, exactly. It's, it was supposed to be like right there, right? On the edge of the building, standing yeah. there watching. I need to get back to the lab. I'm gonna kill you. It's not over. No. You keep your kill. There's still a war going on. And I have a job to do. You want to help? Let's randomly cut to, which I still love. Moscow. Moscow. Just to show that Blade is not limited to New York, and he never was, because you know what? The comic books that I've been reading. Oh, he, he was in. Now. He was in New Orleans. He was fighting Deacon Frost in New Orleans. He was all over the place, and that's falling to vampires. That's right. I, and I like those kind of traveling narratives and. It's just like Ghost Rider's kind of traveling narratives. I, I like getting into more of, I'm getting more into the, the supernatural stuff, more of the, the street stuff that I want to really want to catch up on uh, when it comes to my, my comic book reading. I've done that with like Hellblazer and Etrigan and Demons and like CC comics and others, but I need to do that more. I, I, need to, I need to read some more Constantine. Constantine is great with all this stuff. Oh man, this is awesome. It's just oh, it's so dry with it. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, comrade? Comrade. 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 I'm Blade, but it's Russia. <laughs> so that was Blade, Blade. on High on Hollywood season two. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's let's round this up. Let's 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 let's. Because we've been here for two hours, we're gonna we're yeah, gonna, yeah, we're gonna spend the next maybe five minutes kind of round this up. Yeah. What is your thoughts here? What is your final impressions of Blade after watching this entire movie? After everything we've just talked about, about the 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 ideas of the the sexuality, the parenting, the the whole thing. Just absolutely, just the best. It was awesome. Was it? Was I so think this <laughs> movie is a sin against God. 
and those who watch this through no need no <laughs> you're going to hell no i mean uh yeah no this movie is a fantastic movie <laughs> uh, yeah, and it, 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 it is one of those movies that definitely lives up like especially you know 1998 it is 2020 it is a movie that i definitely stick in more than often than, than not at least once a year, I always think about this this movie. Yeah. Ever since, and, and it's such a shame that it went such a, under the radar for a little while. No, exactly. Um, it, it's released, but you know what? It does. So it holds. I up. understand why it's one of my dad's favorites now. Anyway, is, is what I was saying earlier, and uh, yeah, I definitely will always recommend Blade to anybody who's a horror fan, anybody who's a fan of comic book films. Um, you got to go back to Blade. Gotta go back to Blade. Gotta see Wesley Snipes give that performance. Um, and if you're a fan of the character in the comic books, that's also especially true. You need to see the first Blade, at least. I Definitely. really need to watch the next two because it's been a long time. Uh, uh, yeah, me too. I think uh, so. But otherwise, yeah. So I recommend Blade. And thank you for watching. And tune in so. next Friday. We're going to sit down and watch Fantastic Four because here on Season 2... I want to call it series, but he wants to call it season. Yeah. I'm more, you know, British, I guess. Apparently. Yeah, I think season's probably the better one. But However, uh, we are going to run down. I'm going to call this the season, the Marvel Knights season, because Marvel Knights has not, never been just just street characters. Fantastic, they've done well, Fantastic Four has been a part of the Marvel Knights run. Every character that has that. I also just think Oh, man, so we're look, but what we're looking at is early comic book movies. Yeah, realistically, yeah. well, Marvel before the MCU, essentially, right? And uh, that realistically, that lead, that's right up until 2007's Ghost Rider, um, which was literally the year before yeah. Iron Man, which is pretty crazy to think about, right? You know, Ghost Rider came out, and then Iron Man came out and started the MCU, and they still made a sequel to Ghost Rider too, right? I mean, the Spirit of Vengeance and. Which not de- it's not too bad. It's decent. It's interesting. It's an inter- <laughs> I'll give you that. It was, a, it was an interesting movie. Um, yes. But anyway, yeah. So that was our that was our watch of Blade. Thank you for tuning in. If you did, thank you for you know sticking around. If you stuck around for a while, and uh, yeah, we'll be doing this again next Friday. So with Fantastic Four. Yes, and then more Marvel from there. Thank you. Thank Bye. You. Bye. Let's go. Let's go.